What is up, everybody? To a verse here today. So we are three days into the new year, and people just can't, even to this day, can't stop obsessing over Starfield. It can't stop trending. People can't stop talking about this game, which you know this game didn't win Game of the Year 2023. But the fact that this game has so many people triggered and just obsessed over it, it just this is my personal Game of the Year right here. I really got to put more hours into this game because no one game should have this much power to have this. The huge amount of people in there just be triggered like this. Like, y'all need to, like, I don't know, <laughs> get off the internet because people are just super obsessed over this game. They can't stop talking about it. The haters are losing their minds. They're punching the air. And apparently, because Steam has given Starfield one of the most innovative gameplay awards of 2023, and people are mad about this. Some people are saying that, hey, this is a big troll effort. I was saying some comments like that from this guy. Saying, hey, the Steam community trolls Starfield for giving it the award. Really? And another guy saying, why haven't they deleted this yet? Seeing it's a troll. Like, really? So apparently, this award is a troll. But you know, those reviews, those negative reviews are all accurate. <laughs> somebody dumping like 800 hours saying the game is trash. That's accurate, though. Or somebody, these ridiculous amount of hours saying the game is trash. That's, that's an accurate review. But, you know, this award is just, it's just complete troll, right? Uh, like, it don't make any sense. They pick and choose what they want to believe. Even though we knew beforehand, like, Sony Flame was a piss this wasn't going to PlayStation, so they made a this, making, making sock accounts to troll this game. So, once again, this game has gotten people butthurt, and now they even more mad at this game winning an award. So, it's just, it's just hilarious. It's like, as much as they hate this game, the more publicity it gets, the more people want to play it, the more people are interested in this game. So, if they really hated Xbox, hated Starfield, you would think they would just stop talking about it, right? But they can't. They can't stop talking about it. It consumes them 24-7. As well, this game, this game has to be Game of the Year 2023 because people can't stop talking about it. I've never seen a game cause this much butthurtness or saltiness. I have, to this day, I've never seen a game cause this much saltiness. And it's still doing it until the very next year. Oh, man. Bethesda Xbox y'all making some good stuff keep it going I can't wait for the next Xbox loser that comes out that causes much saltiness because once again people are people are legit punching the air about this they're, they're losing it but I'm loving every second of it so what are people saying about this right here innovative probably the least innovative game I've ever played look how bad they are jeez I'm pretty sure these were done as a joke. Same way Red Dead Redemption got a labor of love while not receiving updates for three years. I'm afraid there's nothing innovative in Starfield gameplay wise whatsoever. If that is true, then why can't you guys stop talking about it? If it's just so boring, they don't innovate anything. <laughs> you guys would move on, but you can't move on. You're so buttered. And a big segment of these people are just so entitled that this is not on PlayStation. They can't move on, apparently, that some games will not come on that PS5. You just gotta deal with it. My favorite innovation was the copy and paste animations and game mechanics from your other games. Oh man, she must really be. She must. She must be. She's really gonna clutch her pearls when she plays a PlayStation exclusive game when they just copy and paste the animations from those games like Spider Man 2 did, but okay. What did it innovate? Literally, this whole thread is just full of just butthurt Sony fanboys and just PC trolls. It is just hilarious. They're just so butthurt in the comment section. <laughs> They're literally crying because Starfield is getting an award or recognition. Are you mad that PlayStation didn't get that award? Oh, man. So much so that PlayStation should give themselves a Game of the Year award. <laughs> oh, man. I still, I still can't believe PlayStation did that. Since we didn't win the awards, let's give ourselves Game of the Year awards. Yeah, that'll show them. That's just pathetic and embarrassing. But you know. What does the word innovative mean? Oh, so many, so many crybabies in the comment section right here. What did you even innovate? How to make a bland, barren game and to have your modern community completely abandon it? Why are they so buttered? You guys were warded down No Man's Sky. Yeah, because No Man's Sky was definitely being talked about, right? <laughs> no Man's Sky was only brought up because it's a generic Scar a star a Starfield. Nobody truly cares about No Man's Sky. And I'm not even trying to crap on the people who made the game. It's just that nobody cared about that game until Starfield came up. That's when, Star that's when No Man's Sky started trending again. 
That game been on for a long time. Nobody cared about it. But once Starfield came out, that's when Sony families had a sudden interest in this game to put it up against Starfield because it's just pathetic because they, they're just so mad they weren't getting that game on that platform. So, um, Okay, so there's a few people saying they're happy they're still playing the game and loving the game right now, but it's like a lot of these people are just so butthurt. <laughs> they're just so mad and butthurt. Like, jeez. Once again. I wonder what's gonna be the next next Xbox game to do it. It's gonna be Hellblade 2 Avowed. What's gonna be the next Xbox game to cause this much sorrow from these people? Like does it got this? Why haven't they deleted this yet? <laughs> They're gonna take whatever they can get. Phil Spencer Shan and all of his accounts. Someone needs to tell Phil it's the troll awards for loading screens. Overused areas on procedure generated content and no real space flight. Well, it's still a game you ain't playing on PlayStation, so deal with it. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares that you think it's a troll award? They won another award, you're still talking about it, and it's trending once again. You can't, you literally can't make it up. Even to the new year, Xbox don't gotta do anything, and they still people get complain and talk about them consistently. What's the difference than Sony crowning their own games game of the year? Sony is more of a laughing stock. Yeah, you would think that would be more embarrassing than a so called troll award that these people are saying as a troll, but they can't have no proof. You would think that's more embarrassing. Sony gives themselves game of the year. Like that's 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 just, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> yes, ignore the Jeff Keighley Game of the Year awards that we all pay attention to. Ignore those awards, the official awards, but let's pay attention to Sony give themselves a pat on the back. Like really? Why are people saying it's a troll award? Because they're butthurt. The like Starfield is still getting talked about. And their precious exclusive don't get the same attention as Starfield is getting. A stop. Get some help. <laughs> is PR, any PR is good PR. See, and you engaged. Definitely not as bad as Sony slash PlayStation awarding Spider-Man 2 as their own game of the year. Yeah. Once again, I'm never going to forget that moment. PlayStation said, hey, since no one else is going to give us an award, we're going to do it ourselves. <laughs> That's just as pathetic as you see those like celebrities who be marrying themselves. Like they literally can't find a partner so they will marry themselves and announce it all on social media. That's just as pathetic in my opinion. But you know. Teach their own. I'm concluded right here. Just stop being butter. It's a brand new year. People pause out new resolutions and new goals, but you guys are still butter about Starfield. I was like, why don't you demand better from Sony? Uh, was like, they're going to give you a re remaster. You can have fun with that, I guess, and no first party games. But you still just want to demand better from Sony. But you're mad that Xbox games are getting recognition. It's just sad to see. So I'm going to include it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below. Leave a like, like this video, and as always, thanks for watching, and peace.